There are calls for calm tonight, both from police and our nation's leaders, after a violent confrontation in a supermarket sparked by panic over the coronavirus. It comes as authorities rush to track down patients who came in touch with a doctor who's been diagnosed with the virus. Hysteria and hoarding. The panic infection rate reaches pandemic proportions in Chalora. Hey, Irrational fears flared this morning in this Woolworths as accusations of assault let fly. The mayhem representing a quantum leap and the anxiety levels sweeping the country. I need everyone to back off right now. No, 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 no. Stop. Yeah, yeah, hey, hold on. Take it away from there. Stop. 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 You need to get off this trolley now. You need to get off this trolley now. Look what you're doing. Why do you have a tissue? Just think about what you're doing, yeah? Adrian. Right? There's a Adrian. Yeah, it's unfair. You need to stop. Call the police. I'm calling the police. Bankstown Police now investigating. It's not the Thunderdome, it's not Mad Max, we don't need to do that. Like many Australians, I was disturbed to see footage of two people scuffling in a supermarket over access to items in the wake of the coronavirus. This is a time for people to remain calm. It comes as the number of cases around the country continues to rise. In Victoria, Missy Higgins' dad is tonight in self-isolation. After testing positive to coronavirus, the GP treated 70 patients and two nursing home residents, forcing his Turak clinic into lockdown, bringing the state's total to 11. I'm absolutely flabbergasted that a doctor who has uh, experienced flu-like symptoms has presented to work. In New South Wales, the numbers really risen to 34, with six fresh cases overnight, including one man returning from Italy via Doha on the flight QR908 on the 1st of March, and a further five diagnoses or close contacts of a previous case. We are still seeing people mainly coming from travel, from those high-risk countries, uh, but also an expanding number of countries. Emergency measures now being put in place in schools across the state to allow students to stream virtual classes from home. It follows the closure of Epping Boys High School after a 16-year-old student was diagnosed with the disease. Word late today, it'll reopen on Monday. But student Michael won't be there after presenting at Ride Hospital today with symptoms. His family forced to wait in their car prior to testing. It could have spread already, so maybe there's people who's going back on Monday that don't have symptoms, but in a week or so they might get the symptoms and then it spreads. If this is the epicenter of the area uh, for, this, for this virus, there should be more government, there should be government officials, someone here logging something or doing something more. And as coronavirus spreads, the upcoming Olympics face a ticking clock and possibly a tough call. We will uh, always put the safety of our athletes first. With Prince William and Kate's expected tour down under of bushfire ravaged communities now likely to be delayed. Early Walsh, Nine News.